Hello, this is Anna from Madame So. Today I'm going to show you how to use the open toe walking foot with guide for quilting. I have already removed my presser foot holder and now I'm ready to install my walking foot. Now, when we do this, we need to make sure that this fork goes over this screw over here. Once we've done that, it's simply a matter of making sure the screw is fast and tightly. Use your screwdriver and you're done. So there are a few adjustments that you want to make to your sewing machine when you're using a walking foot. So the first adjustment will be to your tension. This is the tension dial on my machine. Um, and I usually need to I find that when I'm quilting with the walking foot, I usually have to raise it to a higher number. So for regular sewing, I would probably be on a three. And I've done already my tests on my sample and a four and a half is what's working best. But you will have to experiment and do a few trial um, runs on a sample to see what works best. When using the walking foot, um, you wanna use either a straight stitch or a zigzag stitch. That's it. You can't you can't really use it for any other kind of stitches. Uh, for quilting, you're mostly going to want to use a straight stitch. I like to have it on the center so I can um, you know use those guides on the with the open toe foot. And I like a larger stitch. I set mine up to a four, but that is a matter of preference. Plenty of people quilt at a two, two and a half length stitch. So that's, again, do a few samples and see what you like best, what works best with your tension and with your sewing machine. Now, another adjustment that you're gonna have to make, and not every machine gives you this ability, but if your machine does have a dial in the back, like this one does, um, you will want to turn this dial. This is what regulates how much pressure your uh, foot puts on the fabric. Um, and since the walking foot puts extra pressure because it has those extra little feet, you're gonna want to lower it. Uh, for low batting, I find that a two works fine. Uh, if I'm using higher loft batting, then I would use a one, all right? Um, now, if you cannot adjust this, then you can't. Um, and you're, you'll probably find that your Food leaves some marks on your fabric, but they will come out with steam. So don't worry too much about that. Here's our sample. As you can see, it's my quilt sandwich completed with all three layers already basted together. And I've done a first line here just to show you how it looks when it's done in a contrasting color. And I'm going to show you how to do this with the uh, walking foot. Now with the open toe walking foot allows you to do is to use the foot itself as a guide as opposed to a closed toe. Um, so here you can see I want to do a parallel um, line of stitching next to this seam line. So I've aligned my seam line with the inside edge of the foot. I have my needle centered and now we can start stitching. Now remember when you're using the walking foot you need to use a slow, a medium to slow speak. This is not for racing. All right. So here, all you have to do is just keep it aligned. Keep that seam next to the racing the edge of the foot and you'll get a perfect parallel line of stitching next to it. Here's your stitching line. See how nice and straight it is? right against that edge. Now I'm gonna do another line here. And as you can see, once we get to this part, I have no seam to guide me. So that's when we're going to use the extra guide that comes with your foot. And I'll show you that in a second. So let's start this seam the same way we did earlier. Now I'm aligning it with the other side of the foot because my seam is on the other side. I'm gonna start stitching. And once I get here, I'm going to stop. 
So now that I'm here without a guide, I'm going to slide my guide back there. And now I'm just going to line it up with the seam over here, or with the stitching line. And I'm going to use that. So I'm going to keep my eye here. I'm going to forget about the needle. This is what I'm using now. Okay. So slowly keeping it aligned and just keep an eye on when to stop. One stitch back. I'm going to cut the thread. And here are your two parallel stitches or parallel lines, thanks to your handy guide. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you do give the open toe walking foot a try next time you're quilting. And if you have any questions, any doubts, anything you need to know about it, just let us know in the comments. See you in the next one.